So I first heard about the project when the BBC announced it and I won't lie, my first kind of instinct was I hope this isn't going to be another stereotype story about an Indian family. Um, I didn't know about the memoir that Satnam had written, obviously I got that and I read it and I was blown away by it uh, because it's the first time I've read something that was so articulate and accurate about what it's like being a British born second generation Indian and a lot of his experiences were also my experiences. And then in the second half of the book, when Satnam reveals that he didn't know that both his father and sister had schizophrenia was just so powerful and, and it hadn't been done before. And I thought, I, I, I want to be part of it. And um, yeah, I, I auditioned for it, and, but then had initial reservations because it was so close to home. And you, know, you, get, you get worried sometimes that with, when something's adapted, they might completely flip it on its head and it's not interesting or real or truthful. But, with this, I realised that actually it was, and I think they've done a fantastic job. So you talk about the revelations and, 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 and the relation, well, the way you can relate to it, but how difficult was it playing Sapna in the actual drama? I tell you what's difficult, not filming it was fine, but initially, one thing I had to realise is that for Satnam, this story is still ongoing, it's still very current, which is more of a reason to do it, it's so relevant. So I didn't want to be the actor that kind of stumbles over to him and is like asks him a million questions i just had to be quite sensitive to that and and but one thing i realized straight away is we had so much in common and he actually said to me own the part you know and gave me almost like a blessing to to have ownership of it and from that point on it became a lot easier for me because i could put satnam in it and also a lot of myself in it which i've never done before in any of my other work you talked about you were worried it could be stereotyping. Yeah. Now you you, you starred in a lot of programs like Doctor Who type thing. Yeah. And of course Iron Fist, which is in the US. A lot of BME or BAME actors from Britain are going to the States yeah. because there's not a great amount of diversity or representation in the UK. Have your experiences been similar? It has, but I've made from an early just early on in my work, I made a decision that I'm just gonna completely avoid any of those projects. Now that doesn't mean playing a terrorist or a doctor is, is a bad thing. I had to look at the script and go, is it being truthful or is it entertaining? Can I do something with it? And if, it, if I couldn't, I just would avoid it. But one thing I've realized is a lot of people are talking about on-screen diversity. I think really in the UK and in the world generally, we don't have enough people of ethnicity who are at the top table and actually actors we can have a vocal say about it, but we don't have that much power to make those changes because when the script comes, there's not really a lot we can do. Um, but it starts at the top when people are sitting around that, uh, say in a boardroom to go, actually, we need to tell more story or this, this isn't accurate and this more needs to be done. Um, and that's, I think, what we're lacking. And that's what I've experienced because by the time the script comes, you're a bit like, mm -mm, it isn't. Things are happening, as you can tell. The industry is an exciting thing happening, but we've got a way to go yet. Perfect. I would love to talk to you for ages, but I'm going to throw one question because I know they're rushing off. Please what do. What do you hope people will take away from uh, the Boys at the Top? There's loads to take from it. You know, I don't want to force feed people what they what they should take from it. From my experience, after seeing it a couple of months after I made it, you know, yes, it's about an Indian Sikh family, it's Satnam's story, but it will be a lot of people's story regardless of their ethnicity. Uh, I've had a lot of people who've seen it and after, just want to make a quick call to a loved one, a sibling, their mum, or even their dad. And that's what I'm really proud of. You know, at the moment, there's so much a lot of political things going on in the world, and we're force-fed a lot of stuff. With, with, with Top Knot, it's a human story, and everyone can relate to that.